Thank you for joining us today. My name is Fortunato Rostano, brand coach at The Personal Coach. Today we're going to learn about how to create a brand that is original and inspires clients to do business with you. So what you need to do today, number one, you need something to take some notes with. Number two, your vision. When we talk about creating an original brand today, I want you to look for clues from your life experiences that may contribute to determining what your compelling story might be and convert it into a powerful brand. And number three, questions. Write down any questions you may have and feel free to ask me at the end of this webinar or you can email me at fort at thepersonalcoach.ca. This webinar will be about 30 minutes, including a few minutes uh, at the end for any questions. If you don't mind, please refrain from making any noises like uh, eating peanuts or typing loud on the keyboard. The first few slides I will share our background so you have some context on to why, how, and what we do. Our firm is called The Personal Coach. From the moment we start coaching an advisor, we are committed to having the advisor experience three things and that is confidence, focus, and freedom in life. What we do is customize one-on-one -on -one business coaching for financial advisors. And how we help, we use coaching, many tools, and get you to implement. The coaches are all from the financial industry and help advisors with increased revenues, team building, powerful referrals, and getting more of the right clients, and marketing and branding, which we're gonna talk about today. So this is me. Now you have a face to who's speaking. I look like this all the time. I even sleep like this, even with my eyes open. I hope you know I'm kidding. So I've worked in the advertising industry for 25 years, helping companies with branding and marketing. But where I do my best work is with advisors and accountants. The reason why I enjoy hearing advisors' stories and how they help clients with wealth security and protection. Advisors are uh, the people that to help people prepare and deal with life changes. If anyone is going to give people financial balance in this country, it's going to be advisors like yourself. So it's really important I support advisors with their success. A little bit about myself, married with two teens and a dog. I live just outside of Waterloo, Ontario in a small village called St. Agatha. I do professional photography. Many, many of my clients use my photos. Uh, I'm an artist, cartoonist. I've done uh, children's books with the University of Waterloo. And my real passion is I train in tra traditional karate, and I've been doing that for 35 years. And I'm a chief instructor at a karate club called Grand River Karate. And I've designed it that 10% of our profits go to uh, local charities. So who I do work for? Well, financial advisors, group benefits consultants, life insurance advisors, advisors who are independent or are allowed to co-brand, and independent accountants. My role at, uh, at the personal coach is I'm the brand coach. Branding is like music to me. I help advisors with composing a compelling and original story, creating a powerful brand, determine what are the most effective marketing touch points or tactics, help the advisor and their team perform on brand and inspire your audience and send them away to share that experience. Myself and Julie Leith, one of the coaches, collaborated on building an effective branding program for advisors called MasterPoint. It is an essential part of business development, uh, development that is missing in this industry today. The MasterPoint program includes four branding program, programs to fit advisors' budgets and needs. And if you have any more questions about that, feel free to contact us. and We'd be glad to quote on something for you. What I'd like you to do now is write down these four items, including the boxes at the top of a piece of paper. If you're interested in, in any of these services, you can contact Kelly. Her email is below there, kelly at thepersonalcoach.ca. So let's get engaged and have some fun. Let's start off with what is branding. An original pers business personality and identity of your company that sets you apart from others in the same niche market. So I live in uh, the Waterloo region, and some of you may know that we have several head offices here like Sun Life and Manulife. So you can imagine how many advisors are in this area alone. You are in a crowded marketplace and to stand out as, an, as original may seem like an impossible task, but I'm here to tell you that it's not. And I've got, got the answers. 
we asked all our clients and, uh, and advisors what their biggest challenges are when it comes to marketing and branding. And these are the top three comments we received. I feel like I'm the best kept secret. I want more of the right clients. I want a brand that makes me feel truly unique. What Trout's advisors experience is shown here. When you get a new client, do you focus on solutions before you learn about the goals, issues, and opportunities? Absolutely not. Rather, you approach it in a, as a strategic one. You develop a plan based on who the client is and then a strategic strategy to take action with specific tactics to meet their needs. Just like you, we recommend the same approach with your branding and marketing strategy. Having said that, many people and advisors I see have taken a backwards approach. They start with the marketing tactic in mind and act in the moment. Problem is they often get very disappointed because they, get, they don't get the results that they expected. And in many cases, they spent a little money many times with little results. And all the pieces they have developed don't look the same or communicate the same message because they have different people involved in the creation and design. A good example of this is they may hire a print shop to do a brochure and then maybe hire a niece or nephew to create a, their website. Rather than take a tactical approach, take a strategic approach to your marketing and branding. Work with a firm that knows your business to create a solid marketing plan and brand strategy. Have the firm take you through a process to develop a plan and determine the best strategy for you, your industry, and your unique needs. One of the most important things here is to work with a firm that knows your industry. You shouldn't be wasting your time educating the marketing firm about your industry. They should be able to hit the ground running when you develop the plan. So what can you do to build an original effective brand? When you make your first contact with a prospect, here's what they are listening for. Are you speaking to their hearts or their wallets? You only have a few seconds to impress. Successful companies use the heart as part of their mission, communication, and all of their branding. And they use it for their training as well. I've done brand assessments for advisors that were just in a few years of business up to seasoned advisors with over 40 years in the business. And I've always appreciated the effort advisors make to develop marketing materials to get their name out there and to get the ball rolling. When reviewing their marketing materials, it is common to see content branding words like expert, professional, or superior. They typically do not describe why they are the experts and what is the benefit to the client. Or where does the expertise come from? Their materials may not be as effective, warm, or unique as they'd like, and they end up looking like everybody else and come across as a salesperson going after the wallet. So big opportunities are missed. Here we use heart words that speak to the emotion decision of the brain. In the mind of the client, when the words like understand, listen, and care are said, the clients may interpret what is said as seen to the right. So for understand, it's nice to finally have someone on my side. For listen, I'm not a number, I'm important. We care, I don't wanna be frustrated or confused, I just wanna be happy. The heart inspires, it focuses on relationships, not transaction. It creates word of mouth, it builds revenues. As Walt said, people remember people. They remember what is compelling, and will share that story. There's a good brand book called Biology by Martin Lindstrom. The book is based on a million dollar study about buying habits. They actually peered into the brain using MRIs to determine what parts of the brain are being stimulated or fired, active and make decisions during the buying process. So this is not my opinion, this is science here. It is important to know that the rational part of the brain is still relevant. It is uh, the part that gathers and builds evidence. In the end, the emotional part of the brain makes that final decision to do business with you. And that's what you wanna to speak to. Part of my job is asking advisors simple questions. If someone asks you what you do, what do you say? Typically, there is a pause because they wanna make sure they get all the details in the right order. Also, we automatically go to communicating what we do. What I typically hear is something like, I'm a financial advisor. I help people with 
wealth solutions and security? The answer is not wrong. It simply does not make the emotional connection we were talking about. Author Simon Sinek wrote a book called Start With Why, and I would recommend reading this. The why is the reason, the vision, and your purpose. The inspiring, compelling story or analogy that captures your audience and creates a want to know more. It inspires clients to see the benefit and be a part of what you do. Here's uh, how Simon describes this, and he uses Apple uh, computing as, a, as a, an example. If Apple were like everyone else, here is what they would say. They would start with the what, and they would say, we make great computers. And then the how would be, they are beautifully designed and simple to use. Do you want to buy one? This is how most of us communicate. This is how Apple actually communicates. We, don't know how, we know how successful they are. They start with the why. Everything we do, we believe in challenging the status quo. We believe in thinking differently. We just happen to make great computers. Do you want to buy one? So people don't buy what you do, but why you do it. People don't buy what you do, but why you do it. There are many quali qualified advisors, but many struggle. Advisors who communicate from the why have the greatest success. Before you brand, develop an original compelling story. It is the source of your passion. It is why you do what you do. It speaks to your ideal clients. It inspires your team. It inspires your clients to refer and share. It inspires your centers of influence. It gives you confidence and focus for the future of your business. So now I'm gonna show you some examples of some brands of advisors that have developed some brands. And uh, we'll show you some before and afters uh, at some point uh, through this uh, part of the uh, presentation as well. But uh, first I'd like to start off with uh, an example of why. So here's a picture of, uh, these are blue whale gummies so what you'd buy at a corner store. Um, this all started with an advisor named Joe Moffat that lives out in uh, Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. And Joe uh, was interested in developing uh, a brand. He wanted to take his business to the next level. One of the questions I asked Joe was why you do what you do. And he started to tell me a little bit about his past. And a compelling story can really come from, from anything, whether it comes from a past experience or an event. It could be something from your team. It could be something from a community involvement. I'm always looking for clues to develop a compelling story that will really drive your business. In Joe's case, it all started with this. When he was 11 years old, his dad owned a construction company and, and passed away, and the construction company went bankrupt. Joe's mother was never in the workplace and, and wasn't really sure how to, to get into the workplace. Joe had an older sister and a disabled younger brother, and at 11 years old, he felt like he needed to do something. So he got together with a friend, and they bought a lawnmower, and they started cutting grass to make some cash. And Joe would bring the money home, put it on the counter, and his mom uh, would buy groceries or necessities that they needed. Joe was really driven and learned to be an entrepreneur at this stage, out of passion and commitment. And it was so successful at this lawnmower company, he actually sold it to an NHL hockey player when Joe was 18. But when he was 11 years old, once in a while, he felt like he needed to reward himself. So him and his friend would go to this corner store and they buy a big bag of blue whale gummies. And Joe said, I just, for some reason, I don't know why, I just love blue whale gummies. And they'd sit on the curb and they would just pound them back. I said to Joe, you know, I think we should call your company Blue Whale uh, Wealth Solutions. And so there was a long pause and he said, but there's no ocean here in Moose Jaw. And I said, even better, people are gonna really ask the question why. So during the summer, he was uh, raising some money for a local hospital's children's ward, did quite well at uh, fundraising and Sun Life uh, matched his uh, donation. And as a result, they actually painted the whole corridor in the blue, his Blue Whale theme. And Joe op opened up a new office and decorated the whole Blue Whale theme within his office. And his, uh, some of his materials are focused on the Blue Whale theme. But most of all, he has a really compelling story to tell. All he has to say is, I own a company, Blue Whale, and people start asking the question, particularly in Moose Jaw. And then he gets to tell his story and he becomes a human being rather than a salesperson. He's even had people walk right off the street 
into his office saying, what is this blue whale theme all about? And uh, they would tell him the story and he would be signing clients up off the street. So it turned out to be very effective. And now Joe is one of the top Sun Life advisors in Canada. And that included uh, some uh, great coaching and uh, the brand experience that he was put through. And this is Blue, uh, Blue Whale's uh, corporate identity. This is the logo, the slogan, the start of something big. And the descriptor is wealth creations, protection and management strategies for families and business. This is what Joe said. Blue Whale and the history within the name has defined our working culture and our objectives with each and every client. It has in essence become the very purpose of our days. We have experienced several questions regarding how we came to the Blue Whale. This has provided us the opportunity to share the Blue Whale story. Once we share the story, there is an incredible amount of support and loyalty from within the relationship. We have experienced very similar reactions from prospects, clients as well. All in all, this has been a very, very good for our business, even better for the relationships with Sun Life. Incredible for our clients and a life defining for myself as the principal of the enterprise, Joe Moffat. As a token uh, to his success, uh, myself and Julie had this blue whale um, ceramic made for his uh, foyer office. So it's something that he can put the um, uh, blue whale uh, gummies in. But uh, this is also part of a strategy that when people come into the office, that we want to get them into the right frame of mind before they go into the boardroom. And here's another company, WK Financial out of Stratford, Ontario. We started working with this company a few months ago. This was their materials beforehand. So it is professional. It does have a, a logo. But if you look, you'll notice all the pieces look a little bit different from one another. Not so much consistency. It's more of what they do. It doesn't communicate their why. WK's objectives were have a team that consistently communicates our value, need a brand and corporate identity. Not sure if we need a new name, but maybe. Definitely need an introduction talk, elevator speech. Help prospects find our office. 70%, I just want to elaborate on that. 70% uh, of their clients um, come to their office. Prospects were having difficulty finding their office. A trusted message, partner with, with them, uh, have the right tools, brand awareness in the community, and be unique. So I'm um, just kind of repeat some of the things I already talked about, um, who they are. Uh, they do, what I uncovered is that they do help business clients with their families, which is really key to help developing this new brand for them. They care about their children's future. 7% of the clients come to their office. The team is like a family. Community is like a family. They're very outgoing and they feel responsible for their clients' uh, well-being. This is how the brand was created. Since the client uh, prospects could not find their office, we needed a, a powerful landmark. So I told them to take off their beige door and uh, um, and we're going to replace it with this door that I found. It's an eight, late 18th century door with a late 18th century handle. We had it painted uh, a very bright blue so it would be seen from a, a, a long distance. But this door always also represents uh, family values. It's where families can enter and begin their financial wealth, security, and, and future. So this door has become a symbol for their organization. So they actually installed this and are now having an, um, an open house within the next couple of days. This is what the door looked like first, just out of your own curiosity. So there was a lot of work into making this door um, um, effective. And this is the, uh, the handle. And now this is how we've used it. So we redesigned their logo. The middle of the W is the roof or home. And it's also an arrow, arrow, uh, an arrow to achieve wealth. The slogan, uh, this is the call to action. So enter and begin. So it could be enter and begin their new financial plan, their insurance, and their future. 
and the descriptor communicates what they do and for who, a place to achieve wealth security for your family. So just to create a little bit of a teaser within the community, I created this ad and notice there's not too much on it because we really want to create a, um, a, curi a curiosity. After placing this ad, they received 15 calls the next day asking them, what is this blue door all about? So there's a lot of curiosity created and some excitement. And they are now having an open house. Uh, so a bit of call to action. They've, uh, it looks like it's gonna be quite successful. They got quite a few people coming and it's very family focused. That's why we have a young child here um, one of the prizes is a great uh, Wolf Lodge in Niagara Falls, a family event. So again, uh, they're, they're very, very family focused. So I want to talk a little bit about uh, compelling theme development. Um, it's something that uh, we uh, help clients with. And, and to get started for many advisors, this is an extremely affordable way that can change the future of your business. So if you're interested, we can help you create your own uh, brand, original brand and compelling and inspire, inspiring story with an investment of uh, $980. Uh, with this uh, webinar special, we'll also include an introduction talk, which is a value of $300. So if this is something you're interested in, contact Kelly Weichel and uh, email her at kelly at thepersonalcoach.ca or you can actually call her at the number below as well. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, touch points. Once your compelling story is in place and your brand is in place, and it's really important to do that in, the, in that order, then you can start working on your touch points. Remember, strategy first, tactics after. So now we are at the tactical stage. So use your marketing materials to position you and build referrals with the right clients. And notice how we focused here on saying referrals. That's uh, that's probably the most effective way to get business rather than doing a lot of out there marketing on radio and so forth, where you might be getting uh, people that you don't want to do business with. So your, your touch point should really focus on building referrals. And we have nine categories or nine areas of touch points. So the number one here is first impression. So an example of first impression would be um, how you answer the phone, uh, your voicemail. A first impression can be a face-to-face -face brochure or a package that you're giving a client. Uh, your business stationery would be a first impression as well. So there's a long list of uh, first impressions. Most important thing is we want to make sure that all these areas are covered. Now, with some advisors, we may only carry uh, cover one or two or three of these areas, but we want to make sure that we look at all of them based on um, your situation and needs. So number two, we have uh, touch points for acquiring new clients, uh, touch points for positioning you, touch points for converting prospects to clients, client services, like your reports and so forth, client relationship and loyalty. It may be birthday cards, greeting cards, operations, education. That could be like a newsletter or articles that you send clients. And then with some advisors, it could be involvement with uh, community and charity as well. If you want to learn more about that, just feel free to contact us. Here is another example of an advisor um, that we've been working with for quite a few years now with coaching and branding, uh, Peter Seligman out of uh, Toronto. And um, when we first met with him, this was his uh, marketing materials. And basically, it was a logo, and he, he needed a place to start with. But um, Peter is quite an interesting person, um, very well liked, very cared for. Um, he's run marathons, he's hiked many mountains and skied down many mountains. Um, he's donated blood over 150 times, he's donated a kidney, he's, he's quite an exceptional person. So we really wanted to bring Peter's passions to the forefront and this is what we created for him. Peter's mostly known by his uh, his travels and adventures. And so as you can see here, the cover of his presentation folder shows a mountain from Australia, which he actually uh, hiked up with all of his ski equipment. 
And the uh, inside spread of the presentation folder shows Peter in his element where he just kind of sits back and is enjoying the one of the results of his journey. Now, if you notice, there's a curved green bar that says Summit Program. That's the name of his uh, client experience process, which I'll show you in the next page. So this is a brochure that opens up. It almost curves into a mountain itself. There's a photo of um, Peter and his friends climbing to the summit of a, a, a mountain in Austria. And as you can see, this is his process. Um, the, on the, the column on the right, the green tabs are the steps in his process. If you go to his website, he'll elaborate on each one of those steps. Uh, Peter is very detailed, so he's got a lot of steps in his process. We have some clients that may have three or four steps, but it's all based on your style of uh, communication and what your clients really like about you. The biggest thing that uh, Peter got about this is he rekindled a lot of um, uh, clients that were only using part of his service or used the services in the past. So there's a lot of rekindling here. Um, also, they said, Peter, this, this material is you. You know, this is, this is what we really like about you. So this has had a, the, the branding and coaching has had a huge success on his business to the point where he's almost tripled his revenues and he's gotten more work freedom. Here's an example of a, uh, a client when I met with them, they look like seven to eight different companies. I asked them for all their existing materials. I put them out on the boardroom table and they had never realized this before. This is an accounting firm with a, a division with wealth management out of Simcoe, Ontario. And this is what they look like now. So we've had to keep for the name the same, Good Red and Closter, for legal reasons. Their slogan is supporting growth and providing direction. They have a lot of agricultural uh, accounts from the Simcoe and outer area. And uh, their accountants, they were now able to have a tool to sell some of their uh, services. So the uh, presentation folder here, their website, and uh, their process have given them some confidence on building their business. And they've done that very, very successfully over the past three years. One of the services that we do provide is a, a brand assessment. If you want us to look at your previous materials and give you some enhancement ideas, we are more than welcome to help you do that. Uh, so feel free to contact Kelly once again, and we can give you a quote on that. It's um, very inexpensive to do and probably very well worthwhile. Um, it is around three hundred dollars to do this uh, to do this program. So once again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or Kelly, and this is my contact information.